Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to deserialize a nested array of JSON to C Sharp using Newtonsoft. Notice here at the top, I'm starting my JSON and all the way down here at the bottom, I close it on 219. So now notice here, I say cars and then I say open bracket. Well, this means an array of cars. Now notice this first element. So this is an array. This is the first element in that array. So this is sub zero. And then this second one here is the, is the next array element and it goes to here. So there are two different um, cars that are inside of this array and you just saw them. One is called Toyo and the other one is called Hoyo, two arrays. Now notice that this key value is, is just straight up an object. But look here on models. Models is an array, just like cars is. And notice the first object in that array, because models is an array. So one object, two objects, three objects. So there are three objects in this model. And then when I come inside the model, notice key value, key value, key array, what's going on? So notice here that this is just an array that's assigned to colors. So this right here is an entire object and it has three key values, three sets. Now notice one of the set is an array. And also in the second element, like this is sub zero and sub one, notice that base price is missing. So we have to handle that appropriately in the class object. So now you understand how this is laid out in JSON. We are now going to model this layout of JSON in C sharp. So I'm calling my top class, the class that I'm going to deserialize in my program. So notice here, I say public vehicle. Oh, I have an array of vehicles. Vehicle is an object and I'm assigning it to car. Car is actually has to have the same spelling. Everything has to be spelled the same. So let's come back over here. So notice here that car and trucks, car and trucks. Let's take a look at that. Notice here we say cars, plural. And then down here we see trucks. And that is where these two words come from. Now notice the object vehicle is an array. And that array says I have an array of items called brand. And then I have an array of models. So vehicle has two items, but model is also an array. And notice model is made up of the word model, then base price, and then an array of strings assigned to something called colors. Let's look at that. So model, there's the model, the base price, it's there on this one, but sometimes it's missing, right? Thought we saw that. So see how it's missing sometimes? When something is missing, we have to make it nullable. And that's putting a question mark character. So we saw model, we saw brace price, it's optional. And then colors, it's an array of strings. So colors, this right here is an array of strings. So now the only thing that's left to do is run this program and see this thing deserialize. Notice that I file name, I read my JSON in there. And then I executed that whip and now let's debug data and see what's available. So notice there's car and trucks. Notice car has two elements, has the Toyo and the Hoyo, right? And notice the model has the things that we know. It's got the model, the base price and the color. We knew one of these is missing. That's right the base price was missing, so it's null. But look at that, colors, five. That one's had five, that one's got five, but they all got five. Well, anyways, you saw that now that has been deserialized. This worked. 
And all we have to do was model it correctly. And this is a very simple model. And there you have it, team.